Hello, I'm Tim Willard with the Council for Higher Education Accreditation, or CHIA. We're speaking with Dr. Barbara Gittenstein, who is president of the College of New Jersey. We're asking presidents and chancellors some questions about accreditation in the light of a new Congress and a new Republican majority in the Senate. As you think about some of the issues facing accreditation in the year ahead, what would you name as some of the strengths and challenges for accreditation? Well, I think the single most important strength of, of accreditation, regional accreditation particularly, is uh, the opportunity to hear from colleagues in a non-threatening kind of way about ways to improve your institution. I think that's so often overlooked. And in every experience that I've had, either as an evaluator or as the recipient of the advice from, from a colleague, I've seen tremendous transformations. And we learn from one another in just this wonderful kind of collegial way. If you had to name one way that your college has benefited from accreditation, uh, what would that be? There are just many, many ways, but if I had to choose one, if I had to choose one, it would be in, in the transformation of our strategic planning process, particularly in these very difficult times when uh, resources are just not easy to get, whether you're talking about from, from the state, from the federal government, or from donors, you have to make sure that you are honing to your mission and your vision and making sure that you are serving the students that you say you're going to be serving. The only way you can do that is to have a really thoughtful, well-articulated strategic plan. Well, thank you for being with us today and for sharing some of your insights. If you'd like more information on accreditation, you can go to CHIA's website at www.chea.org.